Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Get ready, because today we're talking about something huge happening in astronomy right now. A brand new visitor from the depths of interstellar space has just entered our solar system. Its name, 3i Atlas. Now, that name might sound a little technical, but it's actually a clue. It was discovered by the Atlas system. That's the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, a network of telescopes based in Chile. And that 3i at the beginning. It means this is the third interstellar object ever detected. The I literally stands for interstellar, a special tag given to anything confirmed to have come from beyond our solar system. To understand why this is such a big deal, we need to talk about the first one. You might remember it, Umamua, officially known as One Eye, Umamua. And that thing was just plain weird. When it passed through our solar system, it accelerated in a way that defied gravity. Normally, objects in space are just puppets on the strings of gravity. But Umuamua sped up as it was leaving, a real, measurable acceleration that nobody could fully explain. That single observation sent the entire astronomy world into a frenzy. And then there was its shape. It was long, thin, like a cigar, completely unlike any natural object we had ever seen. People joked that if we humans built an interstellar probe, it might look exactly like that. A shiny, rotating, cigar-shaped object hurtling through space, straight out of a sci-fi movie. Scientists tried to come up with rational explanations, of course. Maybe it was outgassing. Frozen gases vaporizing in the sunlight, acting like tiny jets pushing it along. But even that couldn't quite account for how fast it accelerated. To this day, the mystery of Oumuamua remains unsolved. Unfortunately, by the time we even spotted it, Oumuamua was already on its way out. It had flown past Earth, moving too fast and too far away for us to get a good look. We barely caught a glimpse before it vanished back into the void. So, what happened next? Well, two years later, on August 29th, 2019, another interstellar visitor showed up. This one was discovered by an amateur astronomer in Crimea named Gennady Borisov, so it was named 2i Borisov. Unlike the mysterious Oumuamua, Borisov was clearly a comet. It had a glowing body and a long, magnificent tail. While its chemical makeup was a bit different from the comets in our own solar system, there was no mistaking its nature. It was the first confirmed interstellar comet ever found. And this thing was big. Umamua was maybe 160 meters long, but Borisov's core was over a kilometer wide, about five times larger. And its tail? It stretched for a distance roughly equal to 14 Earth diameters. Imagine lining up 14 planet Earths in a row, and that's how long its tail was. It came screaming in, almost perpendicular to the plane of our solar system, zipped down past the orbits of the planets, and then, just like its predecessor, it was gone. Now, six years after Borisov, here we are again. Another traveler from the stars has arrived, the third one ever detected, 3i Atlas. It was discovered on July 1st by that same Global Atlas Network, a system of telescopes in Chile, South Africa, Spain, and Hawaii that scans the sky 24-7 looking for anything that might be heading our way. When Atlas raises an alert, it's often called the last alert, because if something it spots is on a collision course with Earth, we might only have a few days or weeks to react. So, when Atlas first picked up this new object, NASA and observatories all over the world dropped everything to get a closer look. The initial calculations revealed two critical things. First, it is absolutely not from our solar system. And second, thankfully, it is not on a collision course with Earth. At least, not yet. Its orbit is still being refined and tiny gravitational nudges from planets could always change its path. But what really stunned astronomers was its size. When it first appeared, Atlas was incredibly bright, which usually means the object is absolutely massive. Early estimates suggested a diameter of over 20 kilometers, 
and even the most recent calculations place it at a minimum of 10 kilometers wide. That is enormous, roughly the size of the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. If Oumuamua was like a tiny scout ship, then 3i Atlas is the mothership, and it's moving fast, incredibly fast. It entered our solar system at a blistering 58 kilometers per second. That's almost twice the speed of Oumuamua. For context, our own planet Earth orbits the sun at about 30 kilometers per second. So, yeah, this thing is flying. That extreme speed tells us something fascinating. It suggests that Atlas is ancient, perhaps 3 to 11 billion years old, a relic from the chaotic early days of the universe. Back then, everything in the cosmos moved faster and with more energy. Atlas has likely been wandering through interstellar space for billions of years, untouched and unseen, a ghost from the dawn of time. Until now. And here's where the story takes another wild turn. When astronomers plotted its trajectory, they discovered something almost unbelievable. Atlas is going to perform a cosmic flyby of three major planets in a single pass, Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. It's scheduled to pass closest to Mars around October 3rd, then swing by Venus, and later get a gravitational nudge from Jupiter. It's a rare, almost cinematic tour of our cosmic neighborhood. If we had already colonized Mars, a 10-kilometer-wide object flying by would be the kind of thing that keeps you up at night. But there's more. During the time when it's closest to the sun, which should be when it s at its brightest and easiest to observe, we want to be able to see it at all. Why? Because from our perspective here on Earth, it will be behind the sun, completely hidden by the very light we need to see it. It's an incredible cosmic coincidence. With Oumuamua, we spotted it too late. This time, it's like the universe itself is deliberately hiding it from us at the most crucial moment. And that's not the only strange coincidence. Atlas arrived from a very unusual direction, straight from the galactic center, the heart of the Milky Way. That region of the sky is so bright and crowded with stars that most telescopes actively avoid looking at it. It's too flooded with light to spot faint moving objects. So Atlas essentially snuck up on us, hiding in the blinding glare of our own galaxy until it was already remarkably close. Then, suddenly, it brightened dramatically. We still don't know why. It just... lit up. So let's recap this cosmic mystery. First, Oumuamua came out of the darkness, a strange, accelerating object. Then Borisov appeared, a classic comet, but from another star. And now, Atlas arrives from the light following a seemingly deliberate path through the inner solar system, almost as if it has a plan. Coincidence? Maybe. But it's the kind of coincidence that makes you wonder. And here is the wildest part of all. All three of these interstellar visitors were discovered within just eight years. For something that had never been seen before in all of human history, that's an incredibly high frequency. Maybe our technology has just gotten good enough to finally notice them. Or maybe there are more on the way. Because if these are just the scouts, the real visitors might not be far behind. Thanks for watching, everyone. What do you think is going on? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this journey into the unknown, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the mysteries of our universe. See you next time.